Hello, my name is John McAvoy. I'm 13 years old and I'm from Stockport. Uh, the BBC, their infinite wisdom, has asked me to um, find out how squirrels find their nuts. A back garden full of squirrels has given John and his mum, Alison, the perfect opportunity to investigate and film something which has puzzled scientists for years. Squirrels bury nuts all over the place, but how do they find them? John's house-trained squirrels are the perfect experimental subjects. John devised a test using these little things, but what are they? These may not look like it, but these are cardboard tubes that we've covered in paper, cut in half and painted using this brilliant paint set. It was priced one ninety nine. The squirrels started with one, but John complicates things with two more colours. He only ever places nuts under the yellow cup, but the squirrel doesn't know that. But it doesn't take long to find it. But will it remember when it returns? Unfortunately, a flat camera battery cuts John's experiment short. Well, we're charging up the battery now for the camcorder, and while we started charging it, the squirrel managed to do it, and he's back now. straight for the yellow cup. But maybe it's the position of the cup that's important. To find out, John adds a few more. I will introduce two more colours now, the grey and the green one. Green one there, blue there, and put red there. Again, straight for the yellow. But there's still only five cups. John adds even more. Right, we've got two more yellow ones out and we'll put a nut under each of them. Nut under each. Yeah. The squirrel comes straight to the yellow cup, but it's still in the same position, so colour and position both seem important. To be sure, John must scramble the positions and remove the nuts to make sure the squirrel isn't smelling its way to success. Well, we'll try it with no nuts underneath now, just see. No nut under there, get rid of that one. Not on there. And we'll see if he still does anything. This time the yellow cup has been replaced by a blue one. What will the squirrel do? Go straight to the position it found the nut in last, despite the colour change, but no nut. So it then tries all the yellows, the colour which it's learnt to associate with food. So both position and visual clues seem to be important to squirrels looking for nuts. John can't leave his squirrels unrewarded. OK, in conclusion, we think that they use all three senses, colour, vision, memory and smell to find the nuts because um, on the last few shots I noticed that they were sort of using the noses to dig underneath the beakers and then smell underneath and knock it over if there was a nut underneath. Yeah, that went quite well, didn't it, yeah. It worked. John's findings mirror the latest research by scientists. In any event, the squirrels have demonstrated excellent memory. But now, back to the wild.